how to download Wistia videos. Hey, content creators, it's Brian. And you may have found yourself, you know, purchasing a course that uh, uses Wistia as the video host, or you find a video that you really like that's hosted by Wistia and you want to download it for whatever reason. So as an example, um, for me on the Wistia page itself, I really like this look. Some things are just of this particular video and I wanna um, download it and save that video so I can share it with my video editor, you know, how they do the style. I kinda like, like they got the black background with the, um, with the light behind it, looks really good. And what I wanna do is I wanna actually download this and just save that clip. And uh, there's so many different reasons why you'd wanna download a video. Like for example, if like you buy an online course and they're using Wistia, um, you might want to you know, download it and save it onto your hard drive so that you can access it when you're offline. And I think that's totally within fair use. Um, if you bought the program, I believe you should be able to download the videos. Uh, but there's other situations as well, such as this one right here, where it's just for educational purposes. I want to download this video from Wistia. And there's no really easy way to do it, okay? So you see there's no download link anywhere here. Um, there's no Chrome extension that I found. Normally what I use for like downloading Vimeo or downloading YouTube is there some sort of a Chrome extension. And a Chrome extension is up here in the corner and there's, um, there's usually like these little apps, uh, that's an extension It basically extends what Google Chrome can do. And so that's usually what works, but unfortunately with Wistia, it doesn't work that way. So I've found a workaround and I'm gonna walk you through it in this video. So let's say this is the video that you wanna download. The first thing I do is I um, control click it and I go to copy link and thumbnail. Okay, copy link and thumbnail. What I'm looking for is the Wistia ID. So then I paste it in a new window, as you can see here. And the Wistia ID, it says W video equals. This right here is the Wistia ID. That's the one that matters right there. And no matter who's using Wistia, wherever they have it embedded, when you do the copy link and thumbnail and paste it, you're gonna be able to see the, the, the W video equals. So it's, it's the Wistia ID number and that's the thing that matters okay so first copy that then you want to go to this link it's called fast.wistia.net slash embed slash iframe okay that's the one right there so this is the secret key and i'm going to actually put that in um i'm going to put it in the description underneath this video because that right there is the secret sauce you want to be able to uh, have a, a whole window where the where the native Wistia video loads, that's the way you're gonna be able to download it. So then I'm gonna paste uh, my Wistia ID at the end of that or append it to the end of it. So now it's fast.wistia.net slash embed slash iframe slash and then the Wistia um, video ID number. And then I just hit return and it's gonna load the whole video as the file on the screen here. So you can see, hilarious screenshot. Uh, this is the actual video itself, and then I'm going to copy this link. Once I've loaded it, make sure it works. I'm going to copy this link, and then I'm going to go to a, a site called clipconverter.cc. Clipconverter.cc. And it's a free site, so i got to just warn you real quick. Sometimes I've had some issues with this site. Uh, this is the best one that i found. And basically what it's going to do is it's going to load the video on their end, and it's going to allow me to download it in whatever format I want to use. Hopefully it works because we're live right now. And it looks like it's gonna work okay. Yes, it does. Okay, so the cool thing about clipconverter.cc is you can now do the conversion of the video right here in your browser. You don't have to download it and then save a smaller version. So the question is why would you wanna save a smaller version? Well, if you bought a course and there's you know 50 videos, and you download the HD version of every single one of those, it's gonna really fill up your hard drive. Um, most of the time we're, we're watching on a smaller screen anyway, so we don't need all the re resolution. So the thing I, I like about Clip Converter is it actually converts the clip and then you download it. Okay, so you see we have a lot of options here and it'll actually give you uh, different file sizes as well. So you can see the Wistia original, it's a 1920 by 1080. So it's a, you know, it's an HD video, but if I click on this one down here, Wistia HD MP4 video, it's still 1920 by 1080, so there's no quality loss, but look at the difference in file size, 136 megs compared to 28 meg. So that's what, like a quarter, one fifth of the size, and 
you know, with a short video like this, it probably doesn't matter that much. But if you're talking about like a long training video, like let's say you watch, here's a good example. You're watching a webinar replay and you're like, this webinar replay is great. I wish I could save it because it's good training, you know, and they host it on Wistia. This is the way that you can download webinar replay training. Um, but a lot of times, like it's an hour long training. It's going to be a multi gig file. It's going to be a really big file. And so when you use Clip Converter, not only can you download it, but you can also um, scale down the size of the video before you download it. So you select um, the size you want to download, and I'm going to stick with that one, 1920. I want the highest resolution, lowest file size. And then I just go to, um, it says conversion format. I can actually convert it to MP3, so I can listen to it on the go, but I'm going to leave it as, as it is right now to the video, and I'm going to hit start. And it's going to start the conversion process right here, which is pretty cool. Recording the media. And we're just going to, because it's a short video, we're just going to let this run and do this live. Um, you'll notice I don't, I don't think I have my ad blocker on here because it looks like this is an ad. It, they're ad supported, so I don't mind having some ads going here. Okay, we can talk, we can talk about that in another video. Uh, but right now what it's doing is just recording all the media. So it's actually streaming it through their service. And so it's saving the video on their end. Um, remember, all video on the Internet is just at the end of the day, it's just ones and zeros, right? So it's just it's just a file. So it's just saving the file. It's a huge file. It's just saving and converting the file. Um, and then in just a minute or two, I'll be able to download it and save it locally to my drive. And then what I'm going to do, particularly with this video, um, let me give them a shout out real quick because Wistia is awesome. If you don't use Wistia, um, they're great. Um, but I found this, I found this uh, video on their agency partner site. We use Wistia for, for all of our courses that we, that we have. And I just, I just like the style of this video. Let me just play a little bit of it. Some things are just better to So in terms of like a talking head video, look at this. Uh, I love that clip right there. See, see that just the the brightness of the colors plus the background. It just looks really sharp, um, and I wanted to, to communicate that with my team. And so, saving this video is going to let me have this. You know, I, I I'm now in charge of where I put the video. I don't have to worry about like what if they change out this video and then I can't show to the show the example anymore. All right, it looks like this is. Um, stalled so I can either again sometimes you have issues with free software like this so I can either refresh it and try it again uh, or I can just wait and normally it just goes through right away so I'm just gonna refresh it there we go yep sometimes it needs just a little little bump 64% and now it's ready so now I can click on download and I can save it wherever I want and I'm gonna call this uh, background video example and now I have it saved so there you go that is the whole process that's the whole process of saving Wistia videos I hope you found it helpful leave a comment let me know um, what else you'd like me to teach you about creating content online thanks for watching hope you have an awesome day